Hello everybody, what is up? This is Electrify here, and welcome to the first episode of News Dash, where we talk about news on a game where they call Squares Cubes. There's a lot of things that have occurred recently within Geometry Dash, and ever since the new change on the series, it's time we discuss our topics on everything that the community has recently came across. Starting off first with the 2.2 news, last time we talked about was the discussion of Robtop's video labeled as Better Random Trigger, which has a better demonstration of what the random trigger does with the 2.2 updates. But in the last two months, Robtop has finally came about and publicized more about the new update of Geometry Dash. Let's discuss this. From the level by Sir Tracks, known as Armetra's Wrath, Robert hopped onto the level and briefly announced onto the level indicating that he will add more new blocks and more art. Some of them are pixel art, vectored, and some are going to look cartoony as provided by the screenshots in the comment of the level. Even more, he also announced that he will provide more sneak peeks that are coming soon on that day, most likely showing off the newer blocks and art. Additionally, Robert said something rather intriguing, dot dot dot, and animations, we like those. The fact that he said we implies that Robert Apollo has been working with someone else. This note is also considerably sketchy as well because Viperin may also be in this factor considering he's been pretty much Rob Top's sidekick for a long time, but who knows. Two months ago, Robert Apollo commented on a recent level by a Rimuru called Horizon, whereas Rob decided to comment onto the level, quote, I am guarding Area 51, I hid 2.2 there. People took this as a sign that 2.2 would be released on the very same day that the Area 51 raid, the worldwide joke about a Facebook event to raid Area 51, will occur. Another theory surrounding the case is on a level called Insurgent by Sergio18. When the level got raided, people were counting upward for a running joke, and Robert continued the joke by commenting 8. People went on to making the conclusion that there will be 8 days left till the release date of 2.2, which is the day of the Area 1 raid. What? Yeah, obviously, people overlooked on this and was proven false. Robtop's Area 51 raid comment was taken as a joke, and the number 8 was an utter coincidence. The whole theory behind that release date of 2.2 made no sense whatsoever, and Pigpig Gamer even made a couple of points in his video pointing the fact that Robtop never releases any release dates to an update. People making this theory tend to overlook on the subject, which even I saw that coming. On the official Geomstash Discord server, which is joinable, Rafta makes another appearance and started talking about some more possibilities on 2.2 features. First off, Rotop stated if there should have some new speed portals, more specifically on 5x or 6x speed for either 2.2 or 2.3. To be honest, I feel like a new speed portal would be pretty cool to have, as 4x speed portals are common to have for me, especially on harder demons. Having an even faster speed change is going to get over the top on gameplay, as we can't even comprehend a sight read on extremely fast paced speed, so I'm not sure about the 6x speed. Alas, I think it's a pretty cool idea to have a much faster speed other than a 4x speed or 5x speed. If anyone was familiar with one of my 2.2 release news videos, I mentioned how there was a new option on the platform mode called Ice Block. The other five other buttons on the right are sort of incomprehensible, except for the two on the sheer right. One of the reefs Ice Block, which I also don't really know what that could be. A couple of theories surrounded this, claiming this to be a way in platform mode for the player to slide around, considering the name. Well, the theory was actually correct, as Robtop explained that having that option checked will cause the player to have a low friction, which of course makes it slide around. This can actually make up for some interesting gameplay, as we never get to see anything about it, and it can also make up for some concept level designs. Another claim Robtop had said on the Discord server was that he added the option of linking the amount of attempts onto the item ID. So for example, you are able to set it to where if a user had reached 100 attempts, the color of the background changes or something along the lines of that. I genuinely love this idea. I don't know, I can definitely see some potential on this option as you can come up with loads of possibilities to use for that option. To me, I would add a completely new level layout every 100 attempts or so. I'd definitely love to see this being shown in 2.2. Additionally, Robert Apollo has stated and confirmed that there are going to be new uses for currencies 
such as mana, orbs, diamonds, and hell, even demon keys. He even stated this, diamonds get much more interesting. Rotap is trying to imply that there is something that makes diamonds in 2.2 stand out more than the rest, which really do beg the question as to what more uses Rotop is going to be added to the diamonds. Around the month of July, he hopped back into the official GD Discord server and said some two notable details, on of which was this message from Robert Topola. Thing is, Newgrounds has lots of awesome unknown stuff. Thinking of added a recommended song list or something in game that gets updated, so good music people can be highlighted. In short, he is wondering about creating a sidebar of recommended verified song tracks that could be shed some light on some unknown Newground artists, which to me seems like a pretty cool dealio, as there's some unknown artists out there like Elapse or Flash is who needs these kinds of recognition. However, the problem that I see in this case is that songs that will appear in the song list would probably get overused pretty quickly. Now, if there is a system or algorithm that scores songs based on its votes, but limits to its downloads, then this would make for a good idea in my opinion. The other thing that Robert Apollo said on the server is actual screenshots of new pixel art designs and block designs for 2.2. These pixel art has a similar pixel art style to one like Terraria and the level Sword of Zolan. Frankly, I genuinely like the new block designs of what's shown. I know that some people generally dislike the new art style for the blocks, however this could be used for an underrated style within the GD community, which is really breathtaking to be seen, as the only levels that I've seen with this style is the Sword of Zolan series, Disaster Piece, and Mandagon. This could spawn in a new wave of inspiration for new creators to make an original style, unlike of what we have today. Wazaretsu, the top 10 purple extreme demon has its first preview. The layout was verified almost a month ago while Crazen was verifying it, and now it's given to Technical to verify. And the backup is Enswoosh, like always. This level has some great gameplay and is a perfect example on, on how to make hard and fun gameplay. <coughs> <coughs> Furious Flame. The man, the myth, the legend, the unpaid car salesman, Enswish has recently verified the new top 3 demon, Cognation, after N Level gave it to him. This level is almost a year old, with the layout taking more time than the deco. N Level is very fast. Benji was the first verifier, but Enswish was the backup. Enswish made some great runs and finally did the level. With some buffs and some nerfs, the level is finally out. Go check it out, even though you're not going to get past 5%. As you are fair, the hardest NC level ever made has a new verifier, Aiden. Aiden has been going ham into this level, let me tell you. He is, has already 91% and has done 38-78. to 78. He is a wave god and probably the best wave player. Hold up. What is that sound I hear? Is that a crossing? That's right. Not only is he doing Azure Flare, but he is taking on a mega buff version of Sonic Wave Rebirth that he claims to be harder than Tartarus. Enters Azure Flare and Sonic Wave Infinity. Wushi999 has dropped his new upcoming projects, Taprek and Renovant. When it comes to Renovant, the new verifier is Rory, and Taprek doesn't have a new verifier yet. On his community post, he stated, I'm giving up on Renovant and Taprek because I'm already so emotionally weighed down right now and I can't take the additional stress. Sorry for letting you down, but not really. My sanity and happy need comes first, doesn't it? If you want my two cents on this situation, I feel like Wuxi is doing the right thing. He should care about his mental health and shouldn't care about a game that's probably going to die in another year. It's sad to not see him verify these two projects, but mental health is more important. The old godlike player who verified the unnerved version of Fexty is back. Skyjax joined the community about 4 months ago with, with an even stronger start. In 4 months he's completed Zafkill, Gamma, Hatred, and Arctic Lights. He even got some progress on the new top 3 demon Cognation on a run of 36 to 100. He's back and deserves some more recognition from the community. Go subscribe to him down below. Enswish is in today's news for the second time. He's been the first player to complete the top 25. Shortly after beating Ragnarok, he moves to Yandere. This is a monumental moment for the community. The only other person to challenge to beat the top 50 was Sonics, but failed. And Switch has been steamrolling extremes faster and harder than Sonics. We may have the new GD robots. We have some breaking news. 
Dolphy, one of the best players in Russia, has now become the first victor of Cognation. Are you kidding me? We didn't even get to report on it being verified first. Come on. Well, keeping it short, GG man, you're a robot. On level reviews, I shed some light on a future level and try to analyze the level critically. I will of course also cover the level based on its positives and negatives. Today, our first level review is quite an interesting one as we get to dive in on a recently rated level titled F Nostalgias by JF. The level is a retake on the popular level by Triaxis titled Dear Nostalgias but with a twist. The look is off an aesthetic theme of the original level with glitchy effects and eerie vibes to it. What I like about the level is how presentable it looks, with loads of chill effects on the way the level looks. My favorite part was how the slopes rises up perplexingly. The level is mostly based on effects, and it really shows. The music choice is so random yet fitting, as it also presents an eerie yet chill lo-fi version of the saxophone bit in the song Okiba Crackdown by Boss by the same song used in the level Dear Nostalgist. I don't like how the level can get pretty tedious as the gameplay stretches out for so long. The block designs could also use some work. The level has a 6 star rating but it honestly deserves a 5 star or 4 star considering the slow gameplay and the huge gaps shown throughout most of the level but overall it definitely deserves a good old epic feature. Nice work JF. And finally let's talk about the levels got hacked recently. Two creators unfortunately got hacked onto this case and got a whopping total of four demons hacked. The two creators were Konzi and Zellink. The two demons that were hacked from Konzi were Rattlesnake and Limitless, which was an extreme demon. Yes, you heard me correct, an extreme demon was free for a while and was unfortunately hacked. Fortunately, he was able to recover his account and patch the secret ways on the demon a day after. The other two demons from Zellink is Fall Seasons and Summer Seasons. Similarly to Konzi, he was able to recover his account but he didn't bother to patch up the level which leaves us with two ongoing free demons. Well, that wraps up everything you needed to know about our first episode on News Dash. We've covered a lot today but at this point I'm kinda getting paranoid of 2.2. But hey, I'm sure it'll come out within a year or so so I can wait. <laughs> well, sh